this is kind of separate to the cause, but just in general, I want to say to most clubs in London, can you please, please stop withholding the set lists and set times on social media and just post, like, please stop doing this. It's a common practice amongst clubs. I think maybe not even London, just maybe UK wide, where they refuse to post up set list or set times of DJs playing at their club or at their night. And I think most of it comes from this antiquated, no, it's not antiquated. Most of it comes from a, uh, a reasonable place because for the most part, clubs in the UK close too early, right? We have very draconian drinking and kind of nightlife flipping dancing rules, whatever it may be, which kind of lead clubs to only open for a very short period of time. If you think about a nightclub, right? A nightclub should be opening for the most part. I think so. There's no point in having a nightclub if it closes before four or before three o'clock. It just doesn't make any sense. A nightclub, the whole point of it is that you kind of start from 12 and you go until six or maybe until eight. That should be how a nightclub should basically operate because that, at that point, you have people who have been able to come before the last trains and they'll be able to leave and get the first trains home. That's how it should be working out. Sometimes on the weekend, maybe you stretch until eight or if it's until Sunday, make sure it's until eight so people can get the first trains home, which maybe leave at seven. But usually I think clubs should stay open until six. Most clubs in most busy metropolitan areas, maybe if you live in a smaller town close to four, whatever. But also I think it kind of limits the amount of trouble that police get. It limits the amount of antisocial behavior you get on the streets because people are dispersing clubs at different sort of times. So you're not getting this mad bottleneck when it gets to the trains because that happens a lot in London. But as you go in smaller towns, you see people leaving the pub at 11 because it closes then, going to a club from 11.30 to, for, for free, but then it's only until free. But then by the time they go to a club, they're already blown out of their minds. And then by the time they get chucked out of the club onto the streets to get a kebab, they've all come out at the same time. So the energy is really weird and everyone's kind of still on it, still buzzing and stuff, still coming off that kind of going out high and never highs and it leads to trouble. But if you have clubs open until six, people leave at different times. People maybe go a little bit earlier. They stay a little bit longer, whatever. They calm down a bit more. They have a bit more water at the end. It kind of, like never have I honestly seen in a club that stayed up past six trouble after like four it doesn't happen people are tired already they may be hooked up with somebody already they may be in the toilet so like they're already busy right? they're already minds occupied they're already thinking about what they're gonna do in the morning but when you close places before three or whatever that time it kind of throws off so i understand why some clubs so again in the hope i'm saying that as a reaction clubs started to do this thing where especially in london where they would so if they're booking a headline or they're booking a big person or a couple of big headliners they would withhold who was playing at what time so you wouldn't know right so the whole idea behind it was that they wanted you to get in there quickly or get in there early because you had no idea if that person you went to go play you went to go see was playing at 10 <coughs> 11 12 1 2 you had no idea so the whole plan behind not putting out a set list or like a set times was to make people kind of come in first and obviously once they're in and they're probably looking to leave and again another pet peeve of mine most clubs in London don't have a re-entry post um, process once you go in you're in even if you bought a ticket there is no re-entry price there is no fee involved in it, no process maybe you can talk to a bouncer and kind of if you've got a relationship with them or you can be a little bit kind and cordial maybe slip them some money whatever you can maybe arrange it but most clubs don't have a re-entry process it's once you're in you're in that's it which is again superbly annoying um, but the set list thing is something that's always bugged me. Like you don't get set lists from, from clubs. Usually you get the set list, somebody posts it themselves, like a person in the club will post it. And it's, oh, it's in my stories, check it out. You know what I mean? But it's not the club pointing out. Again, I don't expect you to put the set list out, you know, a week beforehand. Fair enough. But on the night that the party's on, put the set list out. And even then, put it out beforehand. Who cares? Like if I'm coming to your night, I'm going to come to it anyway. It doesn't matter if I come to it at 10 or 11. Like, I don't understand the rationale behind it. It's really, really bizarre because people that want to go see the person play, they're going to come in there regardless. I don't understand where, how that actually does anything different. Um, it's just really annoying. It's a pet peeve of mine that I've kind of never kind of got over, especially once you start raving and going to places in the continent, right? You start going to actual places that, you know, book a lot of big people. They put out set lists, like, look at Bergheim. They put out a set list, I think, on a week or the day, a week maybe? I'm not sure if it's a week or a couple of days on when the night's on, but breakdown of exactly who's playing at what time. It doesn't affect what they do. Again, that's not a bad example because they're the biggest club in the world, but still, if they can do it, why can't other clubs do it? I just don't understand it. It's just so, so, so annoying. Some promoters do do it. I have seen them do it, but again, it's not really... Sh showed showcase that much you don't really put it in your face you kind of have to dig through for it but i want more clubs in the uk to please just put out set times beforehand like it's just nonsense this whole thing especially nowadays it feels like now 
for the most part, especially post pandemic or whatever this pandemic period we're living in at the moment, a lot of people have basically gone off clubs or moved to moved on to other things because, you know, they may be scared of going out and contracting the virus. So I feel like whoever's left in clubs now are the ones that are going to be left there forever. They're not going anywhere because if you can go through a pandemic and go through all that stuff that we went through, right? All those many cases, all those hundreds of thousands of deaths, and you're still willing to go to a club, you're probably going to keep going to clubs anyway, right? If, if that didn't put you off, you're going to stay. But it feels like you're not going to get any new suddenly reconverts to go to a club. You're not going to get those people who left the club to come back again. What you have is what you have. So there's no point of hiding the status anymore because this is this is who you're playing with. You're playing with the, the, the hardcore fans. So just give them what they want. Let them know what time people are playing so they can kind of figure out what time they need to get there and stuff. Like, I, Honestly, man, it's just one of the things that's just so annoying. I find it so fucking frustrating how you can, you can pay. Like, again, these places also, they're also charging the most. Like, you know, it's not cheap to go to these clubs in London. It's like 20 pounds plus sometimes. Sometimes if you if you want to get like an any time ticket entry, which is again isn't any time because most places don't let you get in after three AM or after two thirty AM, which is nonsense again. You have to pay like thirty pounds. So you're paying thirty pounds to get in there before two thirty, which is again three and a half hours. Again, it's up to you if you want to do that. But you're paying for thirty pounds for three and a half hours and you don't even have the courtesy or the decency to just let you know what time people are playing or or to post it up without you having to ask. It's just Honestly, I think it's bullshit. I really do think it's bullshit, but maybe it's just me in it. Maybe it's just me.